next, this next match will be one fall with a 30-minute time limit. In this corner, from Wellington, New Zealand, weighing 224 pounds, Abe Jacob. His opponent in this corner, from Camden, New Jersey, weighing 242 pounds, the United States heavyweight champion, Buddy Rogers. Well, there you have the holder of the United States heavyweight championship belt. There's Bobby Davis showing it to the crowd here. Tremendous crowd we have in the arena here. And he's up against a pretty, pretty uh, good boy in there, this Abe Jacobs, who comes from New York City. Weighs 230 pounds, six feet one. He claims the Jewish heavyweight championship, by the way. He's been in pro wrestling over 10 years. Now he's facing the United States heavyweight champion, Buddy Rogers. We were talking to Buddy, and uh, of course he has some rather unkind things to say about uh, Haystack's Calhoun. But uh, after all, I mean, the champion speaks his mind, and uh, the challenger usually listens. After all, the whole group comes out when the two men face each other. Buddy Rogers going to work on Abe Jacobs here, right from the opening bell. Oh, incidentally, here, look who just came and sat down here at ringside, Haystack's Calhoun. I heard those words he said. He'll pay for that. Are you that's, the United, that's the United States heavyweight champion. No wonder Khrushchev's getting over with his communism. He's supposed to represent us, supposed to be a sport. I can't understand why a fellow like that would associate himself with a juvenile delinquent like this over here either. That was Haystack's Calhoun wrestling fan sitting right down here at ringside with me. I don't feel it's right. I'm not a braggart or anything like that, but I don't feel it's right for a man to get up and talk about somebody else's looks and uh, pers his person. Uh, this is a, a, a scuffle in the ring where only ability counts. And uh, this cheating stuff like this, I, uh, we, we would treat them back home like you would a cattle thief or something. Okay, that was Haystack's Calhoun again voicing his opinion of Buddy Rogers in this match against Dave Jacobs. But uh, old Father Time allows us, if we have enough time to talk to Haystacks, we will. But uh, in the meantime, here we have... Well, there's some Americans there that believe in true fair play. Haystacks is referring to some of the ringsiders here who are right up alongside of the ringside, really giving Buddy Rogers what for here, along with the referee, Einar Olsen. There you see, uh, lady, see it? there they are. And I don't know what Buddy Rogers is saying back, but after all, as Haystacks says, they're looking for sportsmanship. And they want it, and we'll see whether they get it or not. The champion is defending his title. Ah, oh, Abe Jacobs now reverses the double wrist lock. Now he's giving Buddy Rogers a dose of his own medicine. Meanwhile, Bobby Davis is over there shouting advice to his champion, shouting advice to his champion. Hey, Sack, what do you think of that? Well, never, never again, there's uh, some more that's, uh, that the uh, ability in the ring, he should know what he's doing before he goes in the ring. He's representing the best of the American uh, wrestlers. Uh, in fact, wrestlers all over the world that come into America to discover. And I can't see why he's got to be coached from outside. What do you mean Bobby Davis over there? Yeah. That's right. Haystack is as right as rain on that. Many a wrestler will tell you that sometime he has to about, about three different people to wrestle. <laughs> Sometimes it's the referee and the manager and everybody else. Now we have Abe Jacobs holding Buddy Rogers down now with a double wrist lock, really putting on the pressure. He's got it all up in reverse, and Buddy Rogers is in trouble here. Into a straight arm bar, it's a wing lock now. Going into, an, into a, uh, a wing lock, reverse. Haystacks is, re is rooting for Abe Jacobs here. Abe Jacobs is really giving the champion quite a goal there. This is a hole that really will raise Ned with that elbow. Buddy Rogers, as you know, is the United States heavyweight champion. Really getting some punishment now from Abe Jacobs in this arm lock, a wing lock. Rogers has been a professional for about 15 years. 
He knows all the tricks. He knows all the lies. There goes Abe Jacobs all the way across off the ring, a flying tackle. Not to the other one. Look out! Oh, both men missed drop kicks that time. Both men fired drop kicks at the same time. Will the champion get up? Bobby Davis rushing around here on the ringside. Bobby Davis shouting to Buddy Rogers, come to go pin him. Rogers over kick. Working Abe Jacobs over now. Both men dragging up terrifically. They both missed high drop kicks. Both landed flat on the backs of their heads. Now knee drops on the small of the back. Buddy Rogers working out going into this double grapevine. And there it is, a double grapevine on Abe Jacobs. Abe Jacobs is going to have to give up on this. No man has ever broken this or ever gotten out of it. Abe Jacobs suffering agonies in this double grapevine. Buddy Rogers pouring on the pressure. This is a hole that you can't be that can't be broken. Like Buddy has offered thousands for the man that can break it. Now he really works on the leg of Abe Jacobs. Hasex Calhoun is going up into the ring here. He's been sitting at ringside. Hasex Calhoun is coming in the ring. Goes for Buddy Rogers. And out goes Buddy Rogers out of the ring. Bobby Davis is kicking Abe Jacobs. Oh, what a terrific riot going on here now. Hasex Calhoun makes for Bobby Davis. Takes both of the Bobby Davis. There's Hasex Calhoun in the ring, chasing Bobby Davis over in the corner. Oh, a terrific right to the jaw. Buddy Rogers bouncing up with a knee drop to the small of Haystack's back. Now they're both going to work on Haystack's Calhoun. 700 pounds of Haystack's Calhoun. And there's a terrific cross to the side of Buddy Rogers' head. And there's that horseshoe. Haystack's chased them both out and get a horseshoe and a chain. Challenging them all to come in here. Buddy Rogers looking up into the ring. A sneer on that handsome face of his. Haystack's coming out of the apron of the ring. As they're going down after Rogers. Stands there, Rogers looking back, 